Hi, in this video I'm going to show you two ways to create an R data file using R Commander. So first of all I'm going to run the R Commander. Just double click on the R and then uh, in the R console window click package and select load package to load the R Commander. Right. So the R Commander is R CMDR. Now if you uh, want to run R command to plug in Ipsr, you can click on plug in Ipsr. The, the result will be the same. I'm going to just stay with R commander and then click OK. Alright, so you have the R commander window. Now, to create a data using the data editor, I click data and new data set. And there's this little window asks you to give this data set a name. I'm going to call it data set one. And this will be the name that our commander knows. Right? So this is the name for to give the data set that I'm going to create uh, in our commander. I click OK. And now you see this data editor window. Okay. Now in most of the statistical software, the data editor looks like this. You have uh, several rows and columns of data, a table of data and column wise each column represents a variable and each row represents a case or information from a subject. Right, so let's look at this data. I have this practice data that has actually four variables. The first variable is gender and let's look at the first four cases. It's male, 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 and female. So let's say I'm going to start from gender variables. How do I create gender uh, data? I, gender variable. So I'm, go, I'm going back to the data editor. So the first variable should be gender. The role name actually means the variable name. So I'm going to type in gender. So that's my first variable name. All right. And then under that first variable, and then this will be the first case. And for the first subject or first case in the study is male for gender. So I'm going to type in male. And I can click add row to add another row. Right and I type male again so that's the information for the second subject and then add row again to add the third case male and then add row again All right, so you just keep doing that and now the fourth one is male, female okay and you can keep going so if you want to create another variable let's say the second variable is height so click add column to add another variable and v2 is a default variable name for the second variable I'm going to change that to height Okay. And then the data value is 185 for the first data and click down uh, to enter the second value. Third one is also 173. In the fourth case, fourth subject value is 166, right? And you can keep going right, until you complete the whole data. So I'm going to just stop here, right? And I click OK. If I go back to the R commander, okay? Now my first data set is created and this button indicating the actual the current data set that you're working on and then if you click on view data set you'll be able to view this data set there's a little window here showing you what uh, the actual data set look like they only I've only created four cases I'm gonna close that you can click this data edit uh, added data set button you see that data editor again you can continue modifying adding new data or variables if you want okay so that's how you create a uh, R data set in R Commander. Okay. Now, there's another way to do this, right? Actually, a pretty efficient way to do. I like that a lot, right? That is uh, importing Excel file. All right. So what I can do is, uh, especially if you have data in 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 the web side or in Word document, for instance, in a table format, I can actually highlight, select this whole information at table and click copy. Okay. So I mean actually copy the whole information in this table and I paste it into the Excel. So I open an Excel new document and right click and paste the whole table into the Excel. Now in this Excel file you have four variables created and then of course that the top row is a variable name and second row on you have the data value it's on sheets one all right so now I can save this 
So I create an Excel file with all these data and click File and Save As. I'm going to save it on desktop. I'm going to call this uh, maybe Practice 1. Okay. Uh, then I, if I click Save, actually, this will be saved with this Excel file called Practice 1. Okay. So that's pretty good. Uh, I have my Excel data saved created. So I'm going to close this Excel data. I'm going to go to my R Commander to import this particular Excel data file into my R Commander. So I click data to do that. Click data, import data, and I select Excel file. You see you can actually import it in other format or data in other format. I'm using Excel file. So I'm going to import this Excel file to do import and from Excel file. Then they will ask you to enter the name for this data set. Since this is data second data set I'm using I, in this R Commander, so I call it data set 2. Again, you can name it using other name. All right. And then you want this checkbox to be checked. It says variable name is in the first row of the spreadsheet. Yes, we actually have the variable name in my Excel file. Right, So that's good. Then you click OK. And you, you know, it ask you to look for that file. Remember it's in desktop. And I, What did I call it? It's an Excel file. I call it Practice One, right? So I click Practice One and OK. And in that data file, actually Sheets One is the first sheets is the sheet that I actually have that data. So I click OK, select that Sheet One, and that data is important. So if you click on View Data Set, you'll find out that the whole data set is there. Okay? You can also actually close that and click add the data set and if you wish to change some of the value in there you can go ahead and change that. If you don't want to just click cancel. Okay. So that's how you create the data right, in our commander. Okay. Either using the data new data set to just create the data one at a time or import the Excel file. So first to do that you first have to create an Excel file from it. And if you notice that if you have data already in the table, it's much easier to just use an Excel file. I copy this whole thing into the Excel, blank Excel file and then save it as an Excel file and then import it in, in our commander. Then you got it down. Okay. Now, so this is actually just a data set in our commander. It's not ready in our data yet. Right? To save it as an R data, you want to click data. Select active data set. All right. right now, the active data set is the second data. All right. That's the whole thing, the whole table of data that we just have. All right. So I want to save the whole data. So I click data, active data set, and select save active data set. Okay. And what do you want to name this? Well, I can call it whatever you want. Right. I'm going to name that as uh, maybe practice again. Practice one, all right? If I click save, I'm going to have that our data set saved. So this night, this time, that file you save, it's an R data. So next time, if you open the R Commander, you go to the data and low data set, and look for that R data. That was a practice one R data, right? and click open, you'll be able to open that hard data file.